Polite inquiries. Day five, the Oval. Why, why so quiet? I don't know. I felt whispery. Okay. Ashdeep says, Hello Ashdeep. Is this spell from Boomer today one of the best you have ever seen? His Ooh. figures will never do it justice. Well, that's true. The second part, I definitely agree with. No, it's not one of the best I've ever seen, but oh, it was a very fantastic good. spell. We've Probably. seen a lot of good spells, but very old. Was it two for 27? It doesn't sound that special, does it? It was very good, and it made a huge difference in the context of the game. I don't think they win without that spell. I don't know. Mm. They might have done. But it was a huge difference between the sides. You know, England's yes. bowler's got nothing out of that wicket. It looked completely... And he got nothing out of that wicket, so he made it happen in the air. And he wasn't the only bowler who was getting reverse swing. He just did it better than the other Indian bowlers. He I thought was exceptional. He troubled them with his pace, though, and his bounce as well. So he was hitting the pitch harder than anything England could manage. It was brilliant. Yeah. So the question's right, basically. Lucas says, India clearly better side in this thrilling test. How much of the no, gap great. between the sides, if any would be closed if Stokes and Archer had played. Well, Ashwin could have played as well. Boovey could have played. No, but those were selection issues, weren't yes, they? It's so, different. Um, it is different. I mean, they're not available, and they're not available for good reasons. So um, you have to pick what is available yeah. to you, don't they? Uh, you know. It would be a completely different test match if that was the case. The same as if they Ashwin are. had been chosen, it would have been a completely different test match. So it's really hard to give you a proper answer on that. But yeah, but you're right that England's first choice side has those guys in it. And, and this guy. Michael Hall says, has there been a better Indian team touring England? Not in my memory. I don't think so. I've been saying this for ages. A lot of people are arguing because they've had slightly better middle orders. Although I, their middle order's good, it might just be fading, um, especially at number three and number five. But I think this is the best Indian side that I've seen. I'm not sure the one that was here last time wasn't bad, or I think the England team isn't the best I've ever seen. I, I think that's fair as well, but I just think this is the best all-round Indian team. It's a really strong think. era. The Indian oh. cricket, no doubt about that. I, I think they have more players to pick from than they've ever had before. Maybe that's the better way of putting it. And they can also bowl in more places. I just think they're a phenomenal team. <laughs> Max Edwards says, What is Harsh. more fragile, Jared's arm or England's batting lineup? Oh. To be fair, look at this. If only you could pin it and mend it so quickly. It, there was a point today where it was, I was thinking, England are going to lose, but how are they going to lose? And I think that's where we've come to. But you, you have to admire the ability for them to make it look like they're batting so well and then go the opposite. I'm still thinking of whether it would help to put pins in Johnny Bairstow, and I'm open-minded. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Would we have to break him and reset him? That's what they had to do with my arm. I know they did. Without painkillers. Oh, he has, he's told that story a few times. Why, why not? I'll just go for a wander around the ground and you can tell them how brave you are. I was very brave. Rutraj says, how long until Shadul Takua gets a knighthood? I think you might be waiting a little while on that one. Hey, he's exceeded every expectation. He's proved us wrong. We, what do we know? But Because uh, he's had a terrific game. But the knighthood might be waiting a little while. <laughs> look, uh, he, look he's played, he is fun. If you don't like watching him play, I'm not really sure what you can get out of cricket. He's smart and he tries really hard and occasionally he does really well. This might be the best test he ever plays, mm. but I also felt the same after Brisbane. Like he just is a force of nature at this stage and whatever he's doing, I don't understand it. I don't really want it to stop. Yeah, I think that's bad. He's going to be trade envoy to India anyway, isn't he? Just like, he's the new both. He'd be the trade envoy to England, Doofus. He's from India. To, uh, if you're going to do your jokes, at least research them a little bit. <laughs> Particularly if it's the same one from two days ago. <laughs> Nikhil says, is 100 the only criteria to get the player of the match in cricket? It is interesting that Rohit got it over Shardul because he was good in all four. He did important things all the way through the game. I'm not saying Rohit Sharma wasn't Well, it's a team game and these individual awards are not a nonsense, so it doesn't really matter. But I thought, it's about me. I thought Rohit played brilliantly yes. and set it up. And there is a, a sort of... Uh, tendency to think about the latest performance and it could easily have been given to Bumra too but you know they all combine to win a test for India and that's what matters isn't it? Double Gorge says now that India can't lose the series will they make any replacements in their batting or bowling? I think Ashwin will play because I think it might turn but uh, at Old Trafford uh, I mean it may be that England are desperately trying to create a green seamer with two days notice or whatever but it does tend to turn there so there's a, a fair chance they could play uh, play him there, and uh, you know, Rahane's got to be clinging on at this stage, hasn't he? Yeah, I think Rahane is the obvious choice to make a change with. Uh, as far as um, Australia go, remember in 2019 they came into the last test, and they, I don't think they took it as seriously as they were going to. India looked the complete opposite. They're like, we, this job is not done, they want to win. So I don't think they'll be doing anything like giving people experience for the future or anything. It'll either be a bowler like Bumrah might need some rest, um, or um, Rahane, they just think they can get more runs out of someone else. It is quite a big deal for India to win the series, you know, really wrap it up properly, because this is a side that's already won in Australia, and it's, mm. it kind of feels like it is cementing their reputation as the best side of their era. 
Vinit Arora, who would England drop for the next test? I think there's a, a couple of people might be rested. Who, but who can you rest? Robinson? And Anderson. You can't rest them. You can't rest both of them. One of them has to I play. think a couple of players, Johnny Bairstow and Moeen, haven't enhanced their careers. Yeah, but that's game. not being rested. That's being dropped. Okay, did, did he specifically said rested, did he? He didn't. He said dropped. There, there, there aren't, uh, right. <laughs> There aren't. Uh, he wrote the question right here. I just didn't remember. So they were going to pick Saki, but now he's injured. Yeah. And they might have gone for Cass, and I believe he's injured. So. I've also heard that. Toe, is it? I don't know why. Uh, I thought Something. it was thumb. Toe, but, toe thumb. Something that you don't need. Um, so there's uh, David Payne from Gloucestershire might get a game. I mean, there's, yeah. you know, I think that uh, Johnny Bestow and, and Moen will probably be a little bit uncomfortable, but they tend to give people a game too many rather than a game too few. A bit like the show. This is a. Uh, Polite inquiries too many. We'll see you next time.